Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. Check the show notes for links to all of our stories. This is Effector Volume 35, Issue 1, titled Digital Rights in Review 2022. This issue was published on Wednesday, January 17th, 2023, and I'm your host, Member Outreach Assistant Christian Romero. Let's start with our top feature. 2022 Year in Review Throughout 2022, EFF won many hard-fought battles. We looked into the apps used by daycare centers that collect and share information about the children in their care, we continued our fight against police surveillance, we lobbied hard for user protections in the EU's Digital Services Act, and much, much more. And in the battles that we have not won, we continue on, because it's important to stand up for what's right, even when the road is long and rocky. All of this is only possible because of EFF's loyal members, supporters, and all of those who stood up and took action to build a better future. Next up, we'll go through some EFF updates. The State of Online Free Expression Worldwide, 2022 in Review From internet shutdowns to closed-door partnerships to attempts to restrict anonymity, it's been a tumultuous year for free expression globally. We had hoped 2022 would be the year that activist Allah Abdel Fattah would be free from prison, but the fight for his freedom continues. A Year in Internet Surveillance and Resilience, 2022 in Review Governments around the world use an array of different methods to alter basic user security on the web to block and censor content, but we have also seen new anti-censorship mechanisms assist people regaining access to the wider world and keeping technology open. Data Sanctuary for Abortion and Trans Healthcare, 2022 in Review Following the overturning of Roe v. Wade, sheriffs and bounty hunters are investigating and punishing individuals based on their location data, private messages, and search history. Data Sanctuary laws are strong protections for people seeking abortion and transgender healthcare. Fighting for the Digital Future of Books, 2022 in Review EFF was proud to defend the Internet Archive throughout 2022, and we will keep fighting for a robust and vibrant digital future. Informed citizens need comprehensive libraries that meet people where they are. This means digital spaces where everyone can use their resources. And here's our last update. Users Worldwide said Stop Scanning Us, 2022 in Review. The online conversations that bring us closer together can help build a world that's more free, fair, and creative. But talking to each other only works when people have their human rights respected. The best tool to defend that right in the digital world is end-to-end encryption. Alright, let's go through some announcements. EFF at ShmooCon EFF is excited to be back in Washington, D.C. for ShmooCon 2023 between January 20th and January 22nd. Stop by the EFF booth to chat with our team and learn about the latest developments in defending digital freedom for all. Next up, Usenix Enigma. EFF is proud to support Usenix Enigma. This year's conference is in person at the Hyatt Regency Santa Clara in Santa Clara, California, between January 24 and January 26. Registration is open. Last up, EFF at CactusCon. EFF is thrilled to attend CactusCon for the first time in Mesa, Arizona, between January 27 and January 28. Be sure to stop by our booth and chat with the team about all things digital freedoms. Next, we have a few job openings. First up, Senior System Administrator. EFF is seeking a full-time Senior System Administrator to build and maintain the organization's digital infrastructure as part of the Technical Operations Department. Next up, Legal Secretary. EFF is looking for an experienced professional to join our legal team as the Legal Secretary to support up to nine attorneys in their litigation, appellate, and policy practices. Next up, Institutional Support Coordinator. EFF is seeking an Institutional Support Coordinator to work with the executive team members and finance and program staff to articulate EFF's work into successful fundraising opportunities. And for our last job opening, Chief Development Officer. EFF is looking for an experienced professional to lead the organization's fundraising programs. The Chief Development Officer also serves as a member of the Senior Management Team and works with the Board of Directors. And now we're at the mini-links. First up, what TikTok has on you? This one comes from Foreign Policy. In the absence of effective U.S. privacy laws that curb data collection across the board, 
Banning TikTok would be like putting a band-aid on a bigger problem. Next up, robots in the age of digital surveillance. Digital surveillance in the age of robots. This one is from Stop Killer Robots. Robots and drones, whether autonomous or remote controlled, run on collected data. Now is the time to demand more control over the technology your police department has access to. Next up, Louisiana's new porn law carries user privacy risks. This one comes from NPR. Porn is already used to trick people into downloading malware. Now sites have a legal basis for asking a person to upload their identity info, potentially leading to blackmail or identity theft. Next up, controversy illuminates rise of facial recognition in private sector. This one comes from ABC News. The Radio City Music Hall face recognition incident could just be the start. The next step could be a ban on access or similar treatment for a customer who gave a negative review on Yelp. And here's our final mini link. Safety advocates see red flags galore with new tech at CES show. This one comes from the Washington Post. Many new gadgets at CES might pour gas on a fire, and most consumer electronics are not giving people the full picture that they need to evaluate whether or not they want to use these tools. And that's it. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to sign up for the email version of Effector, which includes links to in-depth coverage of these stories and more. See past issues and subscribe at eff.org slash Effector. That's eff.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T-O-R. Before we end this issue of the newsletter, I just want to let you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and you can help us defend digital privacy, security, and free expression for everyone. Donate to EFF today and even grab a bit of gear by heading over to EFF.org slash effect. That's EFF.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T. You can become a member for as little as $25 or even sign up as a monthly or annual donor. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.